Hi there guys, Gamer Ninja here, and I said I was going to give you more Pokemon of the Week, and damn it, I'm giving you a special on the Pokemon of the Week. And by that, I mean we're going to be talking about three very, 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 very cool Pokemon. And this will be separated up into three different videos. You could probably guess the other two just based off of the first one. But let's just start it off with uh, the first of the three Pokemon, which will be Groudon. Now, Groudon is a very, very uh, strong Pokemon. It always has been, uh, hence why it's an Ubers. And with a base 150 attack and no stat that's really, really extraordinarily bad, it's really only hindered by its speed stat, it's not hard to see why it is Ubers. It's a bit overshadowed by its, uh, I guess I call it the, its brother Kyogre, but Kyogre is called the king of Ubers for a reason. And we'll get to that in a bit in a bit later, okay? Now, for this first set, um, this is a very simple set. It's uh, a rock polished Groudon set. And we have it have a life orb just so it hits harder. Its ability is Drought, which means Sunny Day, which is both uh, important offensively and defensively, because defensively it'll rem it'll will effectively remove uh, Groudon's water type weakness, because water type moves are halved in the sun and more importantly it means that if you bring this thing in on a Kyogre the rain stops so you won't get one-shotted when you come in uh, for moves we use rock polish of course uh, because I said that Groudon speed set it's its only hindrance let's just get rid of that problem right now earthquake because this thing has a base 150 attack and we're amping it up to the max and it's a ground type and Earthquake is Stab. It's going to hurt anything that it touches. Stone Edge, because Stone Edge plus Earthquake equals Edgequake. And Edgequake means you have near perfect coverage on anything. Uh, I believe the only things that can really resist it will be Skarmory. And for Skarmory, we have Fire Punch, which gets boosted in the sun. So this set is uh, pretty nice. It, it it's a bit tricky to set up because Groudon's base 90 speed until it gets a rock polish off means that it's basically a sitting duck against a lot of things. But if you manage to get that rock polish off, it's a really, really scary thing. Uh, for EVs, we run 80 in HP, 252 in attack, and 176 in speed. Now you might be wondering, why aren't I maxing out speed? Well, you don't really get to break any other Pokemon's speed. When you have uh, maxed out speed, you just basically are more reliable against it. But once 176 is sort of a magic number because after a rock plus, you will outspeed Scarfed Terrakion and anything slower than it with a, at a plus one. So that means that Groudon will be smashing stuff. Now, I run Fire Punch with this set because you're just trying to hit stuff hard. And you're basically a wall breaker because even physical walls will eventually crumble underneath your repeated onslaught and being unable to touch you. But if you just want to wreck everything, you don't have to run Fire Punch. And that's where this set comes in. It's exactly the same. Except we get, I give this one a Lumberry. And I'm sure you, everyone immediately noticed it. That uh, should be Earthquake, not Earth Power. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, I'm sure everyone noticed that this thing also gets sword stance. Now, uh, the reason why uh, I'll get to the reason why I run Lumberry is because the moment you set up with Groudon, the instinct is to immediately try to uh, cripple it in some way, shape, or form. Be it poison, be it burn, be it paralysis. Now, paralysis is a bit hard in Ubers because most things that inflict paralysis are uh, electric type and you'll never get touched by electric type attack and Lumberry removes all of those issues and if they f uh, switch out you'll s boost up on the switch they'll use their status move and then you'll, you can pick your second boost uh, rock polish sword stance earthquake stone edge this means that you will destroy the entire metagame at once you get these things off I, nothing except for uh, Skarmory, Gliscor, and Gliscor will really be able to comfortably come in on you. This set does have its weakness, though, namely the aforementioned walls. And 
even with Lumberry, it is tricky to get that uh, those two boosts off. So this is probably one of the more uh, how should I put it? Team reliant sets. The uh, in addition to the previous one, they rely heavily on the team to give them an opening. But if you don't really want that, you do have this set here. Uh, this is a very nice set. I call it offensive support. Uh, you again give it a life orb, so you hit hard. Drought's the ability. It's the only ability you have. You have Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Dragon Tail, and Toxic. And this is more for an offensive team who wants to be able to set up rocks and have something that basically one-shots Dialga and cripples any wall that isn't a steel type. Uh, Earthquake for stab, Stealth Rock because rocks are freaking OP. Uh, Dragon Tail, I run Dragon Tail on this set because you'll be forcing a lot of switches. And one of your most common uh, walls that will come in on you is Giratina. You might as well hit that a bit harder. And Toxic for uh, general overall utility. Nothing likes being poisoned. If you could put something like uh, Support Arceus on the clock, your life will be so much easier. As for EVs, this is a very simple EV spread. Um, it's 252 attack, 252 speed, adamant nature, with 4 on HP. Hit as hard as you can, hit as fast as you can. Uh, it's This is a very easy set, but it can win you games single-handedly. Hands down. But, I'll be quite honest, I don't like using any of the three sets personally. I've used them all, and I've had success with them all. But if I had to give my favorite set, it would be this one. Now this looks almost exactly the same as the previous set. In terms of uh, overall move set, it still has Earthquake, it has, still has Stealth Rocks, but it has Lava Prune and Roar. And this is probably a more uh, support Groudon. Um, your item is Leftover, so you have a little bit more longevity. You max out your HP, you max out your physical defense, because your special defense isn't going to be doing too much. Although you can max that out too if you if you just already have a physical wall and you just want a more general utility wall. And I run Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Lava Plume, and Roar. Although you could switch out the last two moves for whatever your team needs. I like I like spreading burns around to increase my Pokemon's overall durability. Roar is a way more reliable than Dragon Tail because if something sets up a sub, Dragon Tail won't phase out, and Roar will always phase out. And this is the reason why I like this set a lot more is that it is way less team reliant. Instead of the team relying, instead of Groudon relying on the team, Groudon supports the team and lets everybody else have an easier job. And Groudon, while terrifying, generally speaking, isn't really seen as the most uh, terrifying threat in Ubers. That being said, this thing still hits hard, even uninvested attack, because base 150 attack will always hurt. Stab Earthquake, and while Lava Plume will not do a whole lot of damage, it's still more than enough to make a Skarmory wince in pain and be able to be two-shotted maybe even one shot i haven't run the calcs on that so those are four primary sets on groudon and now there are another set that i didn't showcase because it's so simplistic and that would be choice groudon and to be quite honest i don't like choice groudon i think it's outclassed by many other things but if you really want to, Choice Scarfed Groudon and Choice Banded Groudon are both viable in their own right. And it's basically pick four attacks, slap a choice item, max attack and speed, and watch everything die. So everyone, this is the land-based Pokemon Groudon. Thank you for tuning into this Pokemon of the Week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Gamer Ninja signing out for a short while.